It was a nice sunny day. I just picked my friend's car up from the garage. So um, we were just driving down the road, I seen one of my mates, and I was going to give him his mobile phone back that he left in my car, but then it kind of turned into a race, and then we were racing each other, and the next thing you know, it just a bad accident. Well, just, just before it happened, I was working for the council. I had a good job. I just got a new car. Me and my partner were both happy. The kids was happy. My daughter was only about four week old and my head started going. I don't know why. I just had stress, but I don't know where it was coming from. But I started going out and then meeting up with mates and I seen them all the time, but I never got involved with what they was doing. And then I ended up getting involved and saying, yeah, I'll be a driver. Basically, the lady, she had broke a bone in the middle there, um, where her chest was, the sternal. Um, she had bruising on her belly, she had cuts to her face, cuts to her arms. The elderly man who was in the passenger seat, uh, he had loads of bad bruising on his legs, cuts on his arms, cuts on his face as well. I thought it's easier getting money, getting easier money, and, and getting more than what I get from working. Why well, I wanted to do it, so I carried on, and then got arrested for it. I think we see a lot of young people who are quite vulnerable. I know a lot of guys who I've spoke to who I've worked with who have started off being involved with car crime but then have gone on to be involved with robberies because they've got a name for themselves as somebody who might actually be a good driver as, as, as what's perceived by the friends to be a good driver and prison becomes the consequence of that decision. When I first came into prison uh, I was shocked, I was scared, um, I was angry, I didn't know what to expect, I didn't know what was going to happen. Well, the main thing what you miss is being able to get up and open your own door or ju just little things. I used to love getting up and walking outside and getting in my car, taking my stepdaughter to school and stuff like that. Now, you look out your window and you see a big fence and a big wall. I'd like to see to other young people and people who are driving, just please think about your actions before you do it because just a minor little thing that you think is a minor could be a major. You just think about the present but you don't think about the future. If I could turn the clock back now, I tell you, I would definitely not be involved in anything stupid like I was anyway. I would still be sat out there with my family now, being a dad like I should be and being a good partner like I should be. And to be honest, me, I would give everything that I've got to go and be back where I was. I'd just like to say sorry to my mum for being a bit of a pain in the ass and obviously coming to prison. If I had to sort of leave with one message, I think it'd be just to get people to think about the decisions that they are making. Each decision has an impact, not only on yourself, but on other people. There's many victims of, of one decision. So that would be the message that I have for people to think about that. Give yourself time and make decisions for the right people. And safe drives, stay alive. <laughs>